Okay, everybody, this is the uh, Windows 8 developer build that Microsoft released, I think yesterday, actually, maybe the day before, I'm not quite sure. But uh, I'm not quite sure how well this is going to work if I cycle between this desktop and the other one, if Camtasia will still record it, but uh, we'll see. But this is the desktop interface of the original, this is the desktop that we all know and love. However, down here in the corner, you'll see this. This is your new start bar. You click on this brings us over to our our new main menu I guess would be the the phrase it uses the Windows Phone 7 interface and I personally think it's awful and I want to and I want to die but it's just just me it's got a bunch of built-in apps like Internet Explorer here and you can see that it uses a full screen display but it's also more of a tablet interface. If you right click it pulls up a bunch of things like this so it'll let you cycle between your tabs and everything. And yeah. Get back to the main menu you have to kind of point down here and then hit start. Bring it back here. It's got your Microsoft App Store however in the developer preview it's not available yet so I can't tell you about that but some of the built-in apps include things like an RSS reader, stocks, weather, Twitter, I call it Tweetorama, but it's Twitter. Yep. Let's see. What else do we got? We got some built-in games. Some of them suck. And some of them irritate me. Like, I think it was this one? Maybe? I'm not sure. But the reason why... No, it's not this one. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Your apps never actually quit. They're always running in the background. The only, uh... Oh. The only remedy I've ever found for this is to go back to the desktop, start your task manager, and uh, we see right here where it says like suspended. You have to kill him. This is the app I was talking about. I want to resume it. Maybe. No? Not going to let me? Okay, fine then. This is the new uh, task manager. Very simplified, very minimalistic approach, but then you can hit more details and it'll give you all the stuff you know and love. Services, details. This app history thing. It tells you how long each app was running, how many, you know, megabytes it required, disk space, internet space, you know, your bandwidth, all that stuff. Yeah, performance tab. Performance tab has been overworked. You can see it's uh, really different this time around. I like the fact that it'll tell you individual information like physical processors, logical processors, whether you have virtualization enabled or disabled, your different cache sizes and everything. But over here, this is one thing that really annoys me. You have all of your basic apps, right? And all of the apps that you've installed come over here. But uh, the thing is, whenever you launch one of these apps, it just switches you back to the desktop and launches it on the desktop. Which, I guess, isn't really that big of a deal. It's just kind of annoying, I guess. But another thing that annoys me is that things like Control Panel. It's a really simplified interface. And it's nearly impossible to customize anything that you would really want to, like your resolution or your... Uh, even something like your mouse sensitivity, you've got to go to more settings, which kicks you back to the desktop and opens up that control panel. And that's also the only way to access this control panel. So like if, say, like earlier, I was trying to switch my default recording device, I had to go back to the thing, click on control panel, scroll all the way down, go to more settings, just to open back up this control panel. It was really retarded. So I'm hoping Microsoft will implement another start bar just for the desktop OS because it gets really annoying flipping between the two constantly. Yeah, it comes with a bunch of games pre-installed. They're all pretty stupid. But the one thing I do like is the new remote desktop client they've put in. It's pretty much what you can do is you don't have to worry about connecting to IPs or whatever. You just As long as you're on the same network, I think, you just type in PC name and then you can add it to your favorites and then connect and it'll connect. It's pretty cool. I don't have my other computer running or else I would show you that, but whatever. Let's see. Um, I think that was everything, really. Like, yeah, some of the some of the built-in apps are mostly just little games and stuff. But here's something that annoyed me. 
one of the games. This is... Ah. But this is uh, proof that Windows is being built for a uh, tablet interface and not for a desktop OS. Because in this game you have to swipe like you would on a tablet in order to do your controls. This is something else that knows right here. You can also zoom the camera in and out using a two finger pinch gesture. There's no way to do that. The only thing you can do like on the mouse is to use the mouse wheel. But there's no way to two pin two finger pinch on a mouse. Which is again another way Microsoft is uh irritating me, but you know, this is just my opinion. Uh, let's see, what else annoyed me? Uh, <laughs> nothing else, really. Oh, one thing that did annoy me, though, is the fact that you can't... Uh, like, if you already have... Like, let's, let's, let's show you, for example. I'm dual-booting right now between Windows, my Windows 7 installation and this. But there's no way for me to launch programs I've already installed on this drive. Um and uh, be able to have it show up here. Like you have to install them on this OS for them to show up here. And even then, it just uses the default names and icons. There's no way to customize them as far as I've been able to find out. It's, it's a minor quirk, but it, it, like I said, it can get kind of annoying at times. But yeah, as far as, I mean, for a dev preview, it's pretty pretty good. I'm just from based on this preview, I know I'm not gonna like Windows 8 just because of the fact that it's not a desktop OS anymore, it's a tablet OS. But you know. Whatever, it's I think it's good that Microsoft is finally reinventing their UI, but I think they they reinvented it the wrong way, personally. But that's just me. I think that's everything. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you next time. This has just been a little sneak preview of the Windows 8 developer build, and uh, it's freely available on Microsoft's website. Like, in fact, I might even link it in the description. But I'm not sure if you can see it down here. But down here it says evaluation copy build 8012 blah blah blah. So it's it is a dev copy, but it is freely available. So I don't think I pirated or anything. It is freely available on the Microsoft's website. They give you a download link. You don't even have to sign in. They're just like here, click this, and it downloads. So. There you go. I'll link you to that. All right, and I will see you guys later.